Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be sharing you my top 5 best plugins that I use in a day-to-day -day basis working as a full-time UI UX designer. So let's get into the video. So first of all, feather icons. Uh, I use feather icons for working on my random designs in which I needed to have icons ready to use. So to open up our feather icons tab, just search feather icons. Then you can now search for icons that you needed. For example, I want to have a uh, what icons do we need? I think maybe we need the mic icon. Yeah, there you go. You have two options for your mic icon. Just click on it and then place it on your canvas. There you go, you have your mic icon. So Feather Icons also has a huge uh, options for your icons for brands such as Facebook, Figma, GitLab, GitHub, and other useful icons that you can have. So next is Pexels. As we all know, most people use Unsplash, but for me, I preferly use pixels because of this one feature so let's try adding another one and let's put a picture of this girl or try another picture uh, let's use pixels there you go because of this feature portrait and faces i can now easily use these photos of people here as profiles for my avatars there you go Unlike Unsplash, you'll just, you will have to search for faces or peoples to have these types of options for your profiles and avatars. So my next one is Chartline. Chartline is a very helpful plugin in which it can automatically create a chart line like this. So let's try Chartline. In the chart line, you can randomize your options, there you go, and have a presets from here, normal distribution preset, an S-curve or a tone burst, all you can have. Maybe create your own, adjust the points on how many points you wanted it, maybe less, maybe more, adjust the slope from low to high or high to low. And the smoothing the smoothing is the curves that your chart or line will have you have an option for straight so there you go uh, let's try this straight one and then adjust, adjust the slope just like that then add chart line there you go it will generate on your origin let's cut that one and then replace it here paste to replace there you go uh, let's adjust the color and then improve the sizes by four then stretch it out for it to fit then let's move our pointer here there you go you can now have a new word design of your chart just like that so for our next one is content reel content reel is a plugin made by Microsoft so this helps me out working on random words or contents or numbers for my uh, for my random designs and also it's better than lorem epsum so if you want full name if we want this to act as a full name let's just select them 
and select here full name so there you go options for full names and maybe if you want these numbers here to be changed up uh, let's just type currency or right here US currency there you go random numbers will be generated as well another option for you is to create your own uh, data or text base so if you want this to have options for products let's type products title and let's have a bag uh, soap food bell skincare so those are our data so this will be randomized all throughout our selections on our canvas so let's create that so let's create this maybe as private so that only on our account this will be visible so create as private and now we have products so let's select these names here change this up to products so there you go this will be randomized generated on our canvas so lastly is figma finder uh, working on huge designs is a lot more complicated when searching for specific uh, layouts text uh, frames or even components of your designs so figma finder helps me easing up that problem so let's run figma finder and figma finder creates the solutions for the searching made easy so you have an option I it will search the frames text and groups and components that you have made on your canvas for example we will be searching this three three minutes ago so let's type three minutes ago there you go click that you can also go back to the specific uh, text layer so how about chart line the before frame maybe frame or text so let's go for the frame there you go be redirected to our frame so let's try feather so we have two options here the frame also so that's it guys uh, these are my top five icons that help me out working as a UI UX designer so the feather icons pixels chart line content reel and figma finder so if you like this video be sure to subscribe i'll be sure also to link this uh, plugins down below so see you on the next video